Here's the beginning of a program that asks for a rating from 1 to 5 and then prints a message according to that rating. We could use a multi-way if-else to print the message. Note that the last else clause handles any rating that doesn't match our desired input. When you're testing a set of integers, instead of using a multi-way if-else, you can use a switch statement. Java evaluates the expression following the switch, in this case the rating, and then goes through the cases from beginning to end until it finds a matching one. Let's say we entered a rating of 3. The first case doesn't match, rating isn't 1. The second case doesn't match, rating isn't 2. The third case does match, and Java executes the statement corresponding to the case. The break statement then takes us out of the switch, and Java proceeds with the next statement after the switch. By the way, the default case is the one that Java uses if none of the preceding cases matches. You always put the default case last, so it doesn't need a break after it. You can have more than one statement as the result of a case, and you don't need to put them in braces because of the way case is structured. It's very important to put a break after each of the other cases. If you don't, Java will fall through to the next case. If you were to enter a rating of 2, this incorrect code would print disagree and then proceed to print neutral before the break took it out of the switch. Some people take advantage of this fall through behavior. In this code, for example, a rating of 1 will match case 1 and print the word strongly but not a new line, then fall through and print disagree on a new line and then break out of the switch. Case 1 would therefore print strongly disagree. We also have to reverse case 5 and 4 in order to get strongly agree to print out properly. Isn't that clever? No! This is the exact opposite of clever. This code is difficult to read and update. What if we needed to translate this program into a language where the adverb follows the verb? We'd have to redo everything because our clever approach wouldn't work at all. Don't sacrifice readability for the sake of a couple of fewer lines of code. Take a direct approach that uses switch in the normal manner.